Hey guys, in this next video, we're going to talk about controllers and controllers is where the logic of our application is usually contained. So if you go back to our app and we look inside of our HTTP routes.php file, you'll see that it's cluttered with a lot of junk. And usually we don't want to have this much stuff inside of our routes.php file. Usually from our route, we want to link that to a controller and then in our controller, we will pass it to a view that will be displayed on the screen. So let me go ahead and give you an example of this. Let's say that we want to have a customer controller and inside of a customer controller method, we want to add all of this logic. So I can cut this and then I will say that I want this route to link to customer controller and a customer method. So let me save that and we need to create our customer controller. So I can use that use doing artisan and I can say PHP artisan make controller customer controller and you'll be able to see inside of app HTTP controllers you should have a new controller called customer controller so in here we specify that we are going to direct that to a function called customer and we were going to output the same data that we did in the route so make sure that you also need to pass it an ID because that's what we are accepting as a URL parameter. And if we go to localhost 8000 and slash customer and the customer ID, then yeah, you're probably going to see a message saying that it doesn't recognize app customer controller. And if we spelled this correctly, uh, it would say customer. And if we reload, we're going to get, yeah, this error that says uh, cannot find app customer. And this is because we are inside of the customer controller. We're inside of a different namespace. So we need to specify that the app customer is actually from the root. So use it to get to the root, we would just do forward slash or backslash. So we would say customer is at the root of app customer find. So in most cases, you might even just want to use this syntax instead. Or you could always at the top of your controller, you could say use app slash customer as customer and then you no longer have to use either of this and you could say customer equals customer find and if we reload the page then sure enough we will get this on the page and it just looks a lot nicer too you don't have to say app slash customer just at the top of the controller you could say use app slash customer as customer and now anywhere we want to use the customer model we can just refer to it as customer so as you can see, that's simple enough. Inside of our routes, it looks a lot cleaner. We've just mapped our route to a controller, but still we have a lot of this echoing out here. We usually don't want to have that. This is where we would want to pass it to our view. So again, we could say return view customer, and we could pass it our customer. So now if I save this and I need to go inside of resources, views and create a new file. And I will save this as customer.blade.php. I'll create a new HTML. And then I could, I could always do PHP inside of here save that and if we reload we'll get the same thing but we probably don't want to just open up php and add all of that stuff there instead we could use blade and we could write this out a lot more cleaner so i could just uh print this out i could say that i want to list out orders now i could maybe even give it an h2 tag and possibly give this customer name an H1. And really you'll want to style it with, you know, maybe you'll use Bootstrap or maybe you'll have a designer or you have a designer's eye and you can modify it to look really nicely. So we showed you the syntax in the last video where we showed you about Blade, where we can just do at for each and then we can list out each of these orders. Then we do at end for each. And we we'll want to make sure we take this away. And let's list out each of these order names. 
and take away this echo. And let's see how this all looks. Okay, so pretty much the same thing. And if we change that to customer one, so now this is exactly the way that our app is supposed to work. And the structure of it is perfect because inside of our routes, we are then passing our route to a controller. And inside of this controller, we are then running some logic and then we are passing the data to our view. And then inside of our view, we are using blade templating to make it look really nice. And you can just see that this is all kind of coming together. Uh, we can have our controllers for all of our logic, our views for displaying all of our data. We can use blade to make it look a lot more readable. And our routes.php file is super clean. Um, so that is just the basics of using controllers. And I would definitely recommend checking out the documentation. You could check out RESTful controllers. Uh, you could check out all the different uh, middleware that you can use in controllers. Middleware we will be going over in a future video. Um, but this was just a very basics on how to create a controller and then how to add a method and then pass a route to that controller method. So we will see you in the next video where we will be showing you how to build full authentication into your Laravel app.